this mission is also the mechanism we intend to use to flip the tires. It is this. For the tires, we will hook it up and then we will lift it. But as for this mission, we use this as a kind of knocking down system. Sometimes it also hooks it, which benefits us. But in case it doesn't, we also have this, our linear actuator. As you saw, it usually lifts the second pole out. But sometimes it has to lift the first and second, which is why there's uh, some additional movement in that recording. They're both rack and pinion systems that go up like so. Okay, so for this mechanism, our team used a kind of sliding door, which is connected to a rack and pinion linear actuator up here. You can start this in the right position as an attachment in base, with this barely on the thing. And then you can simply load blocks here. And although it looks fragile, it can actually turn around if you run smoothly, like our robot tends to do when we run this mission. When you load in four blocks and you drop them, it goes in the ho hole, as shown. And that gets you 40 points. Also, note that it's very low to the ground, so accuracy is pretty high. We intend to build something to square it against this. That way, it always auto-squares, and it will always be perfect at, unless it shifts to the left or the right, which is highly unlikely. Also, notice we're using a different attachment. Our team decided to use two different attachments to complete this mission because it has three parts, dropping the blocks in, moving it, and knocking it down. So that's very hard. So we decided to distribute it against two runs, which maximizes time and efficiency. Thank you guys for watching this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Also, this is a second upload in one day. Aren't you excited? I'm excited for the FLL season two, and I'm glad to be pushing out new and improved content to you guys. Thank you. Signing off for now.